Welcome back to Nickelodeon's Comic Corner Classic. That's non classic. This is episode number 2697. Double shot 2591. I have two hardcovers from the same series. And this is not from one pair or another. It's the same exact series. One, it's basically next two volumes. First that we have is Batman Superman World's Finest Volume 2 Strange Visions of Victoria Issue 6 to 11 of the main ongoing series. Remember Mark Waite, argued by Dan Moria. Most important for this one. Also, Travis Morrison does my work here. Uh, basically, in these issues, we have, well, we have Robin investigating, well, an attack by, supposed by a beast, and it turns out, basically, it was one of the circuit people. Plus, gotta love the interior article by Dan Moria. It's mostly put just a standalone issue, coming right after the, the opening five issues of the series. So, there's that. And then we lead into Strange Visitor Story. This is basically, like, a quick five part of this one. Starts issue seven, wraps up with issue number 11. Mostly put, what happens to Court Historic? Well, we have this mysterious person from, look like, another Gotham City. He gets sent off. And then, of course, runs Batman and Superman. Basically, the whole historic is similar in tone to that of the second story arc of Batman, Superman, Supergirl. It's very, very similar, except it's a guy, not a girl, coming out. And Robin's with them. He's very bright and very nervous. He gets some costume. Basically, the stranger is the costume. Lots of Kryptonian stuff. It's really cool stuff. He thinks he sees his parents, but nope. It's Ultraverse and and. And then we have an appearance by the Teen Titans. Yeah, and also a brief cameo by the Batcopter. Famous from the Bat Batman Sick TV show. And the Teen Titans at this point are most important. This version, anyways, is comprised of members being Tim uh, Dick Race and Robin, Roy Harper Speed, uh, Speedy, Donna Troy, Aqualad, who was Garth, and Wally West Flash. And this will lead to a spin off book. World's Finest Teen Titans, a six-issue miniseries set in the same timeline. Yeah, and throughout this book, basically, we inter interesting about the character. Uh, I love how now, and then we of course the runs, and then he runs into the Joker. Yes, the Joker is here, and we also see appearance here by the Key. Yes, the freaking Key, and of course Barry Allen's here too. Though, at least point out that he's actually wearing his post Flashpoint costume. This, of course, is the Barry Allen Flash. And here's the fun fact Barry Allen. Did you know in the past 13 years, he is the only person out of everybody who got brand new costumes when New 52 started? He is the only one to still stick in the same costume. Superman changes costume twice. Batman changes costume at least a couple times. Everybody changes costume. Him? Nope. Still the same costume. So you have Strange Visitor, what you call Boy, Boy Thunder is what he's called. And of course, you have to take us some bad guys. Uh, a lot of really cool stuff here. Uh, a damn good miniseries. And of course, he goes off and, well, that's that. Uh, and leads into Parents by Gog. Yeah, this is a future story arc, this one. What story arc is that one? Kingdom Come. Yes. That's what that for. This book is great. I give this book a 10 out of 10. Really good. And like I mentioned, we have in our volume. That being Volume 3 Elementary, which collects issues 12 to 17 of this series. 12 is another standal issue. It's basically Robin going on a date with Supergirl. Doesn't end too well. And of course, well, they bring up about very people who are married, like Hawkman, Superman, stuff like that. But really good, that sort of there. Uh, mostly put, the main issues is basically just this, this quick five-part story this is. Bruce Wayne is framed for the murder of Simon Stagg. And Metamorpho is missing. And throughout this book, Batman is basically looking for Bruce Wayne. Now, not the first Bruce Wayne, it's not the first time Bruce Wayne accused of murder, but Simon Stagg? Yeah, and it turns every, all these billionaires in place. And also, apparently, like you have Oliver Queen calling in, asking that he's approving AI. And Bruce is like, that is not like Ollie. Because, of course, this leads into something related to uh, various tech villains of kidnap, including a Mezo. You also have here with Metal Man as well.
Yeah, so they find him, and it turns out, though, that the tech villains, along with Ivo, of course, you have Cyborg Suitman in this story arc. Yep, Cyborg Suitman. Yep. So, fights a composite robot here. A lot of really fun stuff. Yeah, of course, here, appearance by the Teen Titans, of course. Yeah, so. So, basically, Ivo. So, we have Magnus, Dr. Cyber, Toyman, Eden, Ten Eye, Magnus. Uh, Dr. Cyber is a one of the one. Toyman is a. Obviously, he's a Superman villain, classic one. Bug Eye Bandit is a classic, is an old school Batman villain. And it turns out under the control of a Mazo 2.0. Known as New Mazo. Yes. Yeah, he's the main villain in the historic. And gotta love the cool nod to uh, Act Number 1 here with having him crashing. Go see it by The Flash. Yeah, and a Mazo 2.0 is re reluctant to work with him. Of course, he's appearing by Hawkman, Plastic Man. All take on freaking Mazo. It's really fun. And then we have sort of a apparent Justice League here with Oliver Queen being freed. So they recruit Green Lantern, who is basically uh, it's a Hollow Green Lantern, Firestorm, S Supergirl, Wonder Woman, Flash, Metamorpho, and Robin. Basically a pseudo Justice League. You know, call them Justice League, just a group of heroes who work, work a team up. I think I do Mazo. Yeah. A lot of fun this week. Even here is here by the Captain, which Mark Wade would basically give him a title too. And I thought it was really good. I have not got a chance to get the first shade for that one, but damn. They even got the original Mazo on this side. It's a lot of fun. And, and of course, he's cleared of murder. And we have a tease of, oh, the untold story of the Superman Batman team. And the return of the Boy Thunder. Yeah. Also, I love the fact we actually have uh, Spellbinder, Riddler, and Magpie. Yes, Magpie is here. Like, who would have thunk that? So it was basically a retelling of Man of Steel, number four, and the return of Boy Thunder. Awesome. Another amazing book. I give this book a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Um, I should point out that also I got the second volume last week. I got this one just yesterday. And I said, why don't I these together? So this I'm caught up. Now, volume four is not out yet. No, it's not. And keep this book came out just a little for two years ago. And I've already viewed already uh, throughout these these a couple videos, just the first seventeen issues. But this series proves the fact that this series is DC's best selling title. It should be. And I think it's in the top ten. And keep the series going. Just keep Mark Wade off of social media because I've heard the guy is not very very good with his mouth. But he is good with his work. People love this. They hate his mouth. So, DC Comics. Keep Mark Wade's mouth shut. When it comes to social media. But keep him doing this. It's awesome. Will I eventually get my hands on World's Finest Teen Titans and Shazam? Yes, I will. But yeah, that's particularly a particular view. Next up is going to be... Well, I'm definitely going to do it. Too Smooch Moonlight Fantasy. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and do not hit the dislike button. Okay, next video. Bye.